Hey there, I have a haul to do today and it's going to be mostly Maybelline colorless first but then also a couple items from Necessary Clothing that I just got in the mail and I had to show them to you because I am in love with them. I will show them first so then I don't get swatches all over them. They are these pretty bow shirt Waldorf blouse on the side. If you just search Waldorf, W-A-L-D-O-R-F, it will pop with these up. And they are just blouses. This is a nice rose blush color. And they have a scoop back with an adorable bow on them. They are my favorite. I have a tan one that I showed in, a, I think, my favorites video from January. And these are the same, it's just from a different company. I found them on a few different sites. One of my friends showed me another site too, but I'll have all the sites listed below that I know had these. I'm just in love. They're, they're the best shirts I have thus far. The bows are so adorable. And then look at this one. How cute is it? Mint and white striped. And then of course the cute bow in the back. I just can't explain how much I love these. And they were only $25 on necessary clothing. And you can always find coupons if you go to sites like retailmenot.com. That's personally where I usually go. And I think I used a 10% off coupon on these. I know yesterday they had a special Valentine's Day one, which that expired already. But I'm sure they, if you just sign up for their mailing list, they give you emails about current promotions that they're doing in the store. So amazing check them out for sure the next thing I want to show you is obviously the Maybelline color whispers and I am obsessed I love them so much I'm wearing bare to be bold right now with a NYX lip gloss over top and that was in sugar pie I'm pretty positive I have let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine Maybelline color whispers and I'm just obsessed with them I really am Alta had a buy one get one half off sale going on so I bought a lot of them there and I also bought some from Target also so I will go ahead and swatch them for you and show you all the ones that I have. They, just to let you know, they aren't like the Revlon Lip Butters, at least not in my mind. They are way creamier and they just feel like chapstick on my, chapsticky lip gloss on my lips. So I personally think they're better than the Lip Butters. The first one, I know I've shown this one before but I just wanted to get all the swatches out there. This is called... One size fits pearl, and it's 55. And this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty soft pink. Go ahead and swatch him. This one I did swatch before, and you can't tell. It's just there. It's pretty much a lip gloss, like a clear one. It has the tiniest faint light marking, and it's so pretty on. The next one is Go Nude, and it's in the color 05. And it's just a very soft nude color. So there it is. This one picks up a little more color than the one size fits pearl. You can definitely see the beige hints in it. And then the one I am wearing right now is in the color Bare to be Bold. And this one is more of like a concealer type look. It's very beige natural looking I love this is probably one of my favorite ones to wear and it is right here you can tell it's just a little more peachy pink than the other nude one I just think it looks so natural and then this one my friend had me pick up and it is called coral ambition and it's in the color 35 and it's a really pretty orangey coral color So as you can tell, that one, they're starting to pick up more color now. It looks so good on. And then we have color 65 called Pink Possibilities. This is one of my favorites too. They're technically all my favorites, but I have some that I wear a little more than others. And there it is, it's such a pretty pink. And then I know I've shown this one before and it's in the color 60 called Pink Rebel. It's very girly looking. There it is right here. And then we have the color 70, Faint for Fuchsia. Just a darker purpley pink. There it is right there. It's one of the darkest ones. 
then number 50, Cherry on Top. This is the closest one I came to a red. I'm not a big fan of wearing red lips, so I didn't get, I think they have like five in this sort of color category. But it's a little more pinky red, and I just thought that was a really pretty dark color, and I don't have a lot of them. And then the last one, this is the newest one that I picked up actually. And it was super hard to find, so I think a lot of people must like it. It's in the color 25, Lust for Blush. And it's just a very neutral blush color. And there it is right here. It's just a very pretty... Um, I can wear this one to work. It goes with a ton of colors. I just love all these colors. I would not want to return a single one of them. I actually want to get more. I want the entire collection, but there are some colors that I just can't see myself wearing, like some dark purple ones. But if you have not checked these out yet, I definitely recommend you to. They just feel so amazing, and I'm not a lipstick girl. I do not wear lipstick. I don't like the way it feels. And these are the closest things to one that I absolutely love. So if you aren't used to lipstick and you're a lip gloss girl like me, I think you really will like these. And that is all I wanted to show you. So I will see you guys really soon in some unboxing videos. Bye!